What's going on guys, EQ Drifter 458 here and today welcome luck, back to part 6 of the Forza Horizon 2 Let's Play and we are doing a brand new showcase event, I've actually stalled doing this for a couple of days so I can actually do it in an episode of the Let's Play and we're going to be doing that right now and um, as you can see behind the loading screen and stuff like that here we're in an F-150 Raptor which looks like it's customised to the fools, so we're going to be racing a crop duster. Now this reminds me of GTA with Trevor, it really really does because there's a little crop duster in GTA as you all know and yes, I love that little thing, very very nice little car, a little car plane, <laughs> my god, Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah guys, um, I'm just back from work and I was like, what am I going to play today because as I said, I wanted to chop and change things up a little bit on the channel because uh, I've just basically been making it Horizon 2, Horizon 2, Horizon 2 and guess what, I'm making it some more Horizon 2 because <laughs> I was just in that mood where I'm like alright, I want to play it, I really really want to play it because I was going to bring you a, I think we just call it a GTA Online video but we might be doing that tomorrow, I'm not too sure this thing, holy shit, it's actually surprisingly light uh, like, handling wise for what it is, my god Jesus Christ, we need to do some cockpit viewing this baby now, I've never been a massive fan of the Raptor before, but um, I do like it and I don't hate it or anything like that. It's a nice it's a nice off-roading truck, but as you all know, I'm not a massive fan of like off-roaders. Um, off-roading off pickup trucks specifically, but there is quite a few good ones like the TRD, the TRD um, Toyotas and... God's sake, someone's making a loud noise in my house. <laughs> trying to loud. Shut the hell up, I'm trying to record a video. That's the bad thing when you're living with your parents, guys, when you're doing YouTube. They do tend to make a bit of a racket. They really, really do. So that is why next year I want to get my own place. So hopefully we'll be riding on the tap. <laughs> riding on the tap and then we're here. <laughs> that made no sense whatsoever. But yeah. Oh, yes. Nice little four-wheel drift there. Now, I don't know if this has been converted to four-wheel drive, but uh, to rear-wheel drive, I mean, so... It feels four-wheel drive, so it's actually really, really planted. I was expecting this thing to be flopping around like a freaking hippo. <laughs> like an off roading hippo, oh yes. Um, but anyway, as I said, we'll try it in cockpit. Oh my god! <laughs> Perfect opportunity to change the camera there when you get over a hill. Now, I don't know if you guys ever do that when there's like a jump in a game. You actually move with the jump. Like, you actually, let's just say, I'm sitting right now on the edge of a bed. And um, yeah, I'm, I've not, I'm not a master in recording yet. <laughs> I've not got a big massive setup. I've got a setup on my PC, like I've got my chair and stuff. But when I'm recording, I've got the TV right in front of me. I've got my laptop in front of me, my mic, and yeah, I'm sitting literally on the edge of my bed um, recording it. So yeah, because I like my setup. I really, really do like my setup. It's a homely, it's a homely setup. Let's just say that because. Um, when I'm not recording, I've always got my laptop there in front of my screen so I can respond to you guys' messages and Facebook and stuff and that, and then um, oh, I can watch YouTube videos at the same time! My god, the brakes kind of locked up, well not locked up, but you know what I mean. They didn't really work there. <laughs> That's the bad thing. When you're in an F-150 Raptor going off-road against a freaking duster, you need the brakes. You really, really do, because, for example, if you get down here, you don't want to be kersplat right into that wall, you really, really don't. So, as I say guys, I'm um, just back home from work, uh, yet again. Um, big thanks to the guy that actually says, I don't know if I said this before, but big thanks to the guy that says, it's amazing how you actually have time to um, like record some videos and stuff because you're always working, but truth is, I only really do about three days a week because I kind of like that because that gives me three days or four, I don't know, and work and three or four days off, so that's pretty damn good, so woo, just remember we get to keep the raptor, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> looking little John up in here, yeah, oh man, now, that's the one song, if they ever do an update on Horizon 2, they need to bring in Turn Down For What, now, I think it'd be more suited to GTA Online for like next gen and stuff, so that'd be really, really good, I didn't even level up from that. Holy shit! My god, I was like 106 CR away from it, or XP points. <laughs> XP, PP. <laughs> but anyway, it is coming, guys. It is coming. The Udi, or the Audi, or the Audi, depending on how 
you pronounce it, the R8. Oh yes, we are driving it in this episode, guys. Quite a lot of you have been requesting me to do an Audi drift build, oh so gosh, you never know. We might be doing one of them in the near future, but let's just see. I've got something pretty special on the way tomorrow. Oh yes, it's a new custom car build, and it's probably the most requested one that I have ever seen in my lifetime. Oh yes, so we're going to fast travel to San Giovanni, guys. I'm pretty sure it's San Giovanni. Yeah, I know. I've still not found all the signs yet. Um, if you see me online, guys, um, think I've just got. That's probably what I'm doing, apart from like drifting and stuff. I'm searching for the signs. I've got a black screen. I've got a black screen. What the fuck's going on? Oh, okay. That was a that was a weird thing there. So yeah. Speaking of the black screen, we have blacked out the R8. I know the windows aren't blacked out, but damn, she looks fan. She really, really does look fan in all black. Oh, that makes it even better. Whoa. She looks like a demon. She's a demon out here. But anyway, if Anna could shut up, good thing I've not got the connect connected, pardon the pun, <laughs> she'll end up coming up in a menu. But anyway, I'll let you hear this thing. I know we're near the festival, so it might not be to the full extent, so here you go. All the fans around us saying, Go on, AK, rev that, j rev that Jag! What the fuck? This looks nothing like a Jag. That'd be amazing if they did make a Jag look like the Audi R8. Well, it kind of did. It's called the CX-75. You idiot! <laughs> but anyway, let's continue the road trip to San Martin. Oh, yes. So, we have got a selection today of the classic racers, Modern Muscle or American. America. Oh, yeah. So... I know Sarah we're going to be using the R8 in this episode, so I think we're going to stick by that. So let's go in supercars. Oh yes. And do Udi R8. Now, a lot of people have been requesting a Huracan free ride, so that'll be coming soon because I've already made a custom uh, a custom Huracan, so you guys can get to see it in an episode. Oh yeah, so we'll be doing some cockpit view right now for all the people that have been begging me to do some more cockpit views, so the one thing I want to discuss in this video, guys, is the Xbox One controller. Now, the freaking I don't know what you call it, the... Uh, what you call it? The rumble triggers, that's it. They take up so much energy when you're playing Forza. I know quite a, a few of my friends, when they play COD in that... Well, I'm never a COD person, I've never been a massive COD person. I do like the look of Advanced Warfare, though, because it is a wee bit like Titanfall, mixed with, like, a, <laughs> a sci-fi movie, because... It looks fucking awesome, it really, really does now. As I've always said, I'm not a massive fan of COD, but that one does look good. Anyway, getting back to the controller, and this is the thing that... I was like that last night. How loud is it when you're in a silent room late at night? Because I was trying to do... Um, well, obviously, you know, I drive with manual and clutch most of the time, but when I'm generally cruising around and I just want to lay back and listen to some music, I do shove it in automatic because... I don't want... I don't... Well, I, don't know, I love manual with clutch and everything in games. Obviously, as you all know, I want to do automatic in real life. I just think it'd be a lot easier considering the way the gearbox is going these days. Because the manual gearbox is starting, well, it has been starting to die out the past few years. Because, as you all know, as you can plainly see here in the V10 Audi R8, um, they've got flappy paddles. Oh shit! Um, so they're basically adding the flappy paddles onto everything. They've got it on like. The A45 AMG, the latest Renault Clio RS, which I drove a couple of episodes ago, which if you haven't seen, go and check it out, oh yes. Um, because an epic little car, that Clio. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, getting back to the controller thing, uh, I was just driving around online, and even the buttons of the Xbox One controller are very, very loud when you're in a silent room. You might even hear it sometimes on the videos, because it's, it's quite a good made controller and that, but, uh, and I like the design and stuff, but... It's really, really loud when the rumble triggers are going, so... Supercar Championship. Oh, yes. These are the ones that really make you want to get back out there, you know? Ah, oh, I envy you, mate. Go on, choose a race to start the championship. Wait a minute, he envies me, but at the start of the game, he drives an Aventador? So, how can you envy me if you're driving a Lambo? God damn, but anyway, uh, let's go ahead and what have we got here for a selection? We've got Ridge Sprint. We've got Bourdieu Circuit, 
uh, Grande Sprint, <laughs> Fiat Punto Grande, um, <laughs> Ope Grande style, op, 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 that did not go well. <laughs> uh, North Ridge Street Race, um, I don't know what to go for, man. I think we'll go for this one. I think we'll go for this one. But anyway, I just want to say a shout out to Wager Station now. He is a really, really cool guy that actually made like a funny uh, version of my channel logo because I don't know if you guys seen yesterday's video when I was talking about a brand new motto for the channel. It was, I think he made one. It's uh, fast, funny, and furry. Because <laughs> um, he made it like in, on my... He put text on my channel logo, which is pretty funny, and he edited it in Photoshop. So if you guys want anything like logos, I'm not too sure if he does channel art and stuff, but go and hit him up on Twitter. That is Wager Station. The link will be in the description down below to his Twitter page. <laughs> his Twitter. <laughs> I don't know if you guys in the UK watch Celebrity Juice, but uh, I get that from Keith Lemon because uh, he's just a comical genius, man. He's hysterical. Now, he's more to my style, obviously, Keith Lemon, because he's wacky and crazy and stuff. So, yeah, he's brilliant, Keith Lemon. So, I know a lot of people in the US may be thinking, EK, who the hell are you talking about? But, yeah, if you type in Celebrity Juice Guys on YouTube, Watch it, it is very, very funny indeed. It really, really is. So, yes, we're anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get racing in this bitch. Oh, yes, we are. So, I have not done a race in R8 for a very, very long time. I've already done a championship. Holy shit, I've already done a championship in the R8 before. And my god, she handles kids. I mean, in Forza Motorsport 5, it was great, right? But this thing in this game, oh, I mean, it's almost like it's got infinity levels of grip it really really does but the one thing I've got a complaint about is that in Horizon 2 it doesn't really like to slide because in Forza Motorsport 4 it was the best one of the best four-wheel drive cars for sliding because um, it, it kind of had like a 60-40 right power uh, power I can't even say it 60-40 like torque slash power distribution to the rear wheels and that so I believe it is that, or 70-30, so correct me if I'm wrong, guys, so yeah. Um, but yeah, as you've seen on Top Gear and stuff, like, Jeremy managed to get sliding very, very well, so it's still a great car, the R8, and I cannot wait to see what they come up with in a couple of years' time. I don't know if it's next year or 2016 when they're revealing the brand new, like, um, the proper brand new R8, not just facelifted like this one here. This is the V10 Plus, so... I really, really think that they're going to go for a more Huracan style one. Ironically, uh, there's a Huracan in front of us. More like sharp edges, less squarey and stuff. So, But I do love the squared style on the R8 because it's very, very nice indeed. But anyway, we're going to let you guys hear this exhaust because... Oh, I mean, the V10, I love what the Turn 10 and Playground games have done in Horizon 2 to R8 because... In Forza 5 and Forza 4 and Horizon 1, it wasn't really that, oh, it was good, right, but it didn't have the anger and the to it to, it to like, um, now. Uh, so I'll let you hear it right now. Ooh, oh, she sounds good, doesn't she? She sounds pretty. She really, really does. Oh. So yeah, the other question, well, a lot of you guys actually ask questions and stuff in the comments because I believe I asked you guys to leave your questions down below in a video that I've done recently. Oh shit, I'm sorry guys, um, I was going to crash into that wall there, so I need to use the replay. Yes, I do, because I don't want to scratch up a beautiful baby Audi, or Audi. <laughs> I always laugh at that one. Slip. No, no, son of a bitch. <laughs> anyway, I think I was just cruising along there, so I'm not really bothered. As long as we get first in the championship, I don't really care. I don't care what they say. I can drive my Audi my own way. Oh, yes, I can. Getting down in the fucking freestyle rap there. Oh, fucking yeah. EK Swagalicious, bitches. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that should be my freaking rapper name. EK Swagalicious. <laughs> EK Swaggy. But anyway, uh, I, that's, that's what I was saying. You guys were asking me questions, and if you do... Want to ask me questions about anything at all? Can be about YouTube, can be about cars, music, etc., etc., etc. Then go ahead and leave them down below because you guys all know I always read.
the comments. Oh yes, I do. So basically, we've got a couple of questions here. Can't remember the names of the people who gave me them, but basically the first one is, where do I work or where do where do I work? Yeah, that's it. But I don't really want to name name the company. But for people in the East Coast area where I live, it's in the town centre. So yeah, let's just let's just say that <laughs> because it's kind of embarrassing where I work. Um, it's not. It's not um it's not a bad shop, let's just say that it's a very, very good shop. I really, really do like it and that, so plus I've had some of the funnest years of my life and that shop was really, really good, so I just don't really want to reveal the name of it, because that is quite embarrassing, just a bit. So anyway, um don't get me wrong, it's nothing like Ann Summers. <laughs> it's nothing like that. <laughs> that would be just wrong, it really, really would be. Um but it's just a general shop, it really is, guys. So anyway, the next question was what is my dream garage? Like, what's my top five um, garage cars or something like that that I would ever own in my life? Now, I am not going to do any specific order, and I hate doing these without having a list because these change so many times. Is this the same race I just done? No, it isn't good. <laughs> I thought it was the exact same race. But anyway, um, yeah, that's what I was saying. Um, probably. I'm trying to think. I know the F-Type and the Eagle Speedster will be in there. Um, probably... Uh, probably my own styled R34, because I think every petrol head has to have an R34 Skyline in their garage, or else they do. So that leaves us with two more cars now. That is so hard to choose, I don't know. Um, it's unbelievable, seriously, because... As I've always said, there's always new cars coming out and everything, and oh, 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 there's another one that I would love to see in my garage, the Lexus LFA. I mean, that is just one of the most perfect sounding cars of all time. It really is. It's just so damn cool. That V10 just sounds, it just sounds like a bear. It really, really does like, Meh. well, I don't think, <laughs> I don't think a bear sounds like, Meh. <laughs> Oh my god, but you know what I mean. I really, really just like a very high-pitched bear which has just been sucking on helium. <laughs> sucking on a dick. <laughs> well, I'm joking, but anyway. That would be kind of weird. <laughs> that would be kind of weird if that did happen. Uh, dirty thoughts. D dirty thoughts. <laughs> but anyway. Um, anyway, let's try and catch up with these people because I want to come first in this race. <laughs> giggity, giggity, go. Oh yeah. Mercy, get out my way. Get out my way in my Lamborghini Mercy. Oh yes. I'm surprised that wing's not slowing him down a lot more. Come on, Audi. Come, come on, Audi. <laughs> come on, Audi. Oh my god. That would be quite funny. Got to get past the 458. Come on, come on. Bloody thing. No, that's the thing. As I said at the start of the video, this thing grips like an absolute bitch. It really is good. It really, really is good, so... Change down into fourth, bring that speed up a little bit. So, <laughs> I believe we still get one more car to fit to the dream garage. Now, I'm not too sure. Oh my god, oopsie daisy. Um, now it's just always changing, guys, because I could go on and on and on and on about my favorite cars. And yeah, I know I hit the Huracan. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> god, any Huracan lovers out there, I am so sorry, and I am one of them, so I am a little bit sad. So, yeah. Uh, but we are defending the honour of the Germans. <laughs> of the Germans, yeah. Um, because we're in Udi. Um, but anyway, we need to get going. We really do need to get going. Oh God, no, no! <laughs> oh, you sneaky bitch! You sneaky, sneaky bitch! Well, too bad. I won. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're actually getting quite close to level 150, guys. Because I believe there is quite a lot of people a lot higher than me. So. Um, but yeah, that's the one thing I've been doing recently. It's been playing a lot, playing a lot of online with you guys. Now, a lot of people been saying, "When's the lobby going to happen? When can I play with you?" La 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 like that. If you want to add me on Xbox One, go ahead because I normally do add friends back. And if you ask for like a friend request, I will add you back because I've been doing that recently. But it's just people that say. Okay, um, can you invite me, can you invite me, can you invite me, over and over and over. I don't tend to invite them because I know they're just, like, I don't want to say fanboys and stuff like that, but, oh my god. But as I've always said, I really, really do appreciate your support, guys. Sorry about my burping there because, I don't know, it's always with the inner drinks that make you burp because I normally try and get it all out before the video's like, <clears throat> like that, so, 
<laughs> it just sounds like a like a retarded, well not a retarded person, but like a <laughs> like a retarded horse trying to neigh. It's like neigh, neigh. But anyway, um, oh we leveled up. We're gonna climb up that level so hard now. Please give me that Maserati, please. I'm dying to get the Grand Turismo, please. Oh, I so <laughs> oh, like how it builds hope up so many times. Builds your hope up and then it just basically smacks you across. Oh, we've got another one. Okay, I didn't expect that. Come on, the Mazza. Come on, the Mazza. Come on, the Mazza. Oh, you son of a bitch. Anyway. <laughs> um, so, yeah, guys, I think we're going to round it off here today for the episode. Oh, shit. <laughs> for the episode of Forza Horizon 2 Let's Play. Sorry if it was a little short one, but yeah. Uh, as I said, I'm just back in from work on Sunday and I'm going to get myself some Chinese. Oh, yes, I am. Some Chinese food because uh, I just ordered some. Sweet, what the? <laughs> I can't remember what I even ordered. It was um, chicken fried rice and sweet corn. It is so nice. But anyway, to end off the video, we shall do some drifting. Some drifting. Oh, yes, we shall. Around here. Oh my god, this thing sounds like a peach. It really does. For people wondering what that means, I got it from Top Gear. Like, it sounds like a peach. That means it sounds very, very nice indeed. So, yeah, uh, I mean, this car's a peach. Well, in Romania or. Where was it again? Albania, that means to something completely different. <laughs> it really, really does. So, people that watch Top Gear will definitely, definitely get that reference. So anyway guys, thank you so much for all the support recently on the channel. Really, really do appreciate it, as you all know. And if you enjoyed this episode of Forza Horizon 2 Let's Play, then please do hit that like button and smack it up <laughs> until it dies, seriously. So, yeah, and also subscribe if you guys are new around here. So yeah, for me and the R8, we're out. That sounds like fucking Optimus Prime there. <laughs> Autobot, roll out. I can't even do him. <laughs> My voice is too too high pitched for Autobot, roll out. Now it just seems like I've been smoking a lot of cigarettes. <laughs> oh my god, I need some I need some uh, <laughs> I need some cigarettes, man. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Peace.